All right, thanks so much, Matt. In decision 2016 this morning in Wisconsin Senate race, Russ Feingold will face Republican U.S. Senator Ron Johnson this November. And Russ joins us live in studio this morning. Good morning, and thank Good you so morning. much. Good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. So, you know, this is a familiar race for you. Um, back in the saddle, like any can say, you were a Wisconsin senator for several years. What are your expectations this time around? Well, I've been to all 72 counties last year. I've done it again this year. And middle-income and working families are saying they are having a hard time paying the bills. Even though people at the top are doing well, unemployment is lower, it's not working out in terms of the wages, in terms of being able to afford things like prescription medicines, and people are concerned. All right. We we're kind of talking as far as Wisconsin voters go, I guess maybe some key issues you're hoping to address this time around. Well, related to this is even if you have a good job, you don't want to lose that job because it gets shipped overseas. And this is one of my greatest concerns of this Trans-Pacific Partnership that's being proposed is the same kind of thing as NAFTA and the other deals that have cost us some 75,000 manufacturing jobs in Wisconsin. I'm against that deal, and Senator Johnson is refusing to tell us his position uh, until after the election. And I think the people of the state deserve to know where everyone stands when it comes to Wisconsin jobs. In, in regards to that, in northeast Wisconsin ourselves, we've lost three manufacturing plants in our area within the past six months. Treehouse Foods in Ripon, uh, Amira Drives International in Howard, and Graphic Pas Packaging International in Menasha. So I get what is the problem there? Well, you know, there can be different reasons for companies to leave. Uh, and in those cases, one of them had to do with demand and others had to do with other issues. But it often also involves the fact that it's tempting when you have these lousy trade deals that are really corporate handshakes to say, well, let's just go overseas. We can pay less in salaries. We don't have to follow the environmental regulations. We don't have to follow the labor laws. And this Trans-Pacific Partnership will add on to the other uh, agreements that Senator Johnson's voted for that will further hurt especially the Fox River Valley. This area has been hit very hard. And a Wisconsin senator should be standing up for Wisconsin jobs. Now, you were in Green Bay, I believe, very recently, talking about veterans' policies a little bit. Would you touch on that a bit? Yeah, look, we have a commitment to veterans that is across the board. In other words, not just for a couple of years after they come back, but their whole life, particularly their health care. And what I hear from veterans is they want to make sure that the VA stays a public program. They don't want to turn it over to the private industry. And Senator Johnson's goal, obviously, is to turn it over. And I've asked every veteran I meet, say, how do you feel about the VA? They talk about improvements, but basically they say they love it. And so there's a real need to tell veterans that we're going to make sure they don't have to wait for the health care. They don't have to wait in lines, but it will continue to be a public guaranteed program specifically for veterans. This has been a topic that Tammy Baldwin has focused a lot on. Have you spoke with her at all about uh, maybe teaming up or something in that regard? Well, I, if I'm lucky enough to be a United States Senator, I know that Senator Baldwin is devoted to this issue, really spends time talking to veterans, and is devoted to the Veterans Administration continuing to be a public program. So I think we could work together uh, very well on that. Okay. Well, on a bigger platform, all eyes are on Cleveland this week, and the Democrats will get their turn next yeah, week as right. well. Uh, Ron Johnson just announced that he will be speaking tomorrow. So do you plan on attending next week's or your thoughts on the RNC convention this week? No, and I won't be switching my mind. Senator Johnson said for weeks that he wasn't going to go to the convention because he wanted to go out and talk to the people of Wisconsin, but he'd rather be in Cleveland. He'd rather be working with the big inside politicians there. And I, I tell you, that's not the way to campaign with people of Wisconsin. People of Wisconsin want to know first that you're listening to them. Uh, and frankly, this convention is not about the unity of the American people. It's about the opposite. Donald Trump represents the division that is hurting our country. And Senator Johnson is associating himself with that. I will stay in Wisconsin next week, be very proud of our candidates, but I'm going to listen to the people of Wisconsin. All right, Senator uh, Russ Feingold, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We do appreciate your time. And uh, again, thank you so much for visiting us here in Green Bay. Good to be on the show. Thank you. Okay.